In this video, I prepare to make the biggest movie I've ever made at every level, from pre-production to production to post-production, and put it all in the hands of my six-year-old son. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo 15 OLED. G'day everyone, I'm Jazza, and my son is very much a performer. He likes to call himself an actor, and every day I see him in a different costume, playing a different character. He puts soundtracks on his tablet, runs around the house in costume, and role plays all of his favorite video game characters. So I thought it'd give me really like cool dad points to make a movie of his dream. And this could go anywhere. This could be a huge amount of work in production or post-production or really simple. No idea because it's entirely up to him. Ah, oh, hello, come in, step into my office because we are making a movie. Now, do you want to be the villain or the hero? Hero. Okay, what am I? Body. So, what sort of action hero do you want to play? Spider-Man. Ah. Uh, we don't can't do Spider-Man because uh, we don't own the IP to Spider-Man. Somebody who has very powerful powers. Such as the power of... Speed. Speed. I only have three Nintendo costumes. Because we can't use those for the intellectual property reasons that I mentioned before. Do you know what intellectual property is? No. Copyright? I don't know. So basically the way it works is with intellectual Which is property why Simba works. and Kimba are not the same thing and Spotify was sued for two billion dollars and that is why you really just can't mess with this stuff because at the end of the day satire and parody they're a very thin line to walk. Have you, have you, rem you remember all this? Mm. That's alright, we'll cover it later. We're, I'm getting off track here. Oh, uh, I, I have a good idea. What's that? A sharp boomerang with. A sharp boomerang. What is the hero's name? The Boomeranger. The Boomeranger. That's great. What's the villain's costume? Maybe it can be the Sword Ranger. At the beginning of the movie. I think it's going to be Sunny I'm on the sorry. happy start because the villain wasn't out yet. When suddenly. It's dark game ready. The Sword Ranger shows up and says. Boomeranger, we meet again. He grabs the sword and then breaks the sword. And so it de that defeats the villain no, for no, the day. It, no, it doesn't. He breaks a sign and uses it as a weapon. Then he says, I'm tired of fire on the ground. Let's fight on the roof. The villain also has climbing powers, a bit like a cat. He says, look, there's your henchmen. On the roof. They also get tricked, but the other henchmen is actually the worst henchman. Who can be the stupid one? Uh, Gareth or Jeremy? Gareth? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and they want to get some ice cream. <laughs> and then the villain says, we're villains. We don't get ice cream. Actually, he says, you can have one ice cream, but then no more. Hero says, look, your evil stuff is right over there. You can use it. He's pulling a trick on them. Yeah, and then he had the moment to push them off. The building. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is dark. The hero throwed his boomerang down and they were falling to their death. So how he threw the boomerang after the villains were falling. Yeah. To finish them off. Yeah. And they got spikes on their back. In their back. What's the last thing the hero does when they before the credits roll? Like this. Pointing at the villain. Ha ha ha. Happy cool music roll credits. That sounds like a perfect movie. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised what we can do with your ideas. And I think you've got some brilliant ideas. So we had a roughly shaped movie concept and then it's just moving on to sourcing costumes, props and building sets. And when I say building sets, obviously we can't build sets, but we do have the budget and capacity to build virtual sets. Which brings me to the linchpin of this whole project, which is actually the sponsor of this video. We're gonna be running production and post-production through this beautiful laptop provided by Asus, the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 OLED. This has a full 4K UHD screen pad plus, a secondary screen. It's intensely powerful and has awesome specs. And this latest version of the ZenBook Pro Duo has a tilt mechanism that lifts that screen up for a better viewing angle and better cooling. And it works with the Asus Pen with 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity for drawing and writing. When it comes to production and post-production, being able to lay out the edit and the color grade, as you'll see later in this video, in a way that everything is accessible all the time is amazing. The device has flagship performance with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card with gaming grade visuals, an eight core Intel i9 CPU for extreme computing and Thunderbolt 3 USB-C high-speed connectivity. The display is an ultra-sharp 4K UHD OLED HDR display with high contrast and deep blacks. For more on the incredible specs and details of the ZenBook Pro Duo 15 OLED, go check out the link in the description. The power it gives a creative professional to make cool stuff is intense. 
and the added benefit of having two screens on a laptop is just oh, so good. So it's time to leap into production. There's a lot to cover, so let's just get stuck into it. <laughs> God, yes. You look terrifying. Do I? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like that it comes with a collar. It makes it look a bit better. Does it a bit more villainy? Doesn't look too weird with the suit. Oh, obviously it'll look weird, but it looks like cartoon weird good, hopefully. Sure. <laughs> Look at this. And this is going to be the foundation of our studio, of our set. Let's, let's do a quick example. You know what? There's a T-Rex chasing behind me. <laughs> now he's in Tokyo. Oh, I'm in Tokyo. I'm at a disco. Hey, ladies. Ladies. Now costumes were definitely the, the most tricky thing to sort and took a little bit of time, but we don't need a lot of props in our video except for a couple of key players. The main one, of course, being the giant street sign that I'm going to smash my son with, as any good father would. And with a couple of coats of paint, it's surprising how good this thing actually turned out and ended up looking. <laughs> Finally, we were ready to welcome in our little movie star and get filming. Come on in. It's cool, huh? Grab those Hello. Ones. We got you a super boomerang. Oh. We're gonna piece your costume together out of different ones. So that's one of the ones that we'll get pieces from because we can't use oh. this costume. There you go, because look at that. That covers the logo. Does that feel pretty cool? I'm cool. starting to look like a steeple. You certainly are. Already. Yeah. Do you reckon maybe we need a bit of a hairstyle? That looks oh, pretty good. It. That looks amazing. I think this is your style. You've been meaning to try grills. Oh, mate. Joe, oh, spare a dollar. Rolling front, rolling mm. camera two. Let's do it. You know what to do. Ready, set, action. Oh my god, how did that fall? Filming was really fun. I think the trickiest thing was constantly trying to mentally orient myself to where I would be later in the scene. At the end of the day, we were shooting on one angle because we had one green screen and a few cameras set up, but I had to constantly have the 3D scene in my head and imagine, okay, where is the camera going? Where are we turning towards when we're facing each other? And then moving the imaginary camera in my head that we'll be placing later in the 3D scene to place us in a dynamic environment. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, the boundaries of working in limited space and in one direction of filming actually makes you get pretty creative and constantly think about the end result, which had us improvising with a lot of different special effects. I'm going to put quotations on that one. Such as when the boomeranger cuts my sword in half. Hey -ya! Hey -ya! One, two, three. The part where I whack him with a sign, I had to pretend to hit him, get him to run out of shot, and then do the same take without him in shot, stitching these things together, also getting him on the ground and acting like he's flowing through the air. But at the end of the day, look, this legend of a little boy is, you know, he's a six year old. He's never done this before. He's in a room full of adults trying to make a video and doesn't have a huge understanding of how this is gonna end up working. So I have to demonstrate a lot of this stuff, be it flying along and hitting a wall and landing what it looks like to stand in place and look up at camera. But you know what? At the end of the day, who doesn't want to spend a few hours playing pretend with a bunch of nerds? Huge props to our little MVP, who's not only an incredible writer, but was a fantastic actor. A hero for the ages. <laughs> Now with our amazing batch of raw footage to work with, it was then just up to a whole team and a lot of post-production work. But frankly, for me, this is where the fun begins. It was really cool to go through, chroma key all of this out and just really pull out the cleanest, raw, transparent background assets possible of our recordings and bring in the assets that we got from the Unity store. This, this like blocky aesthetic, really cartoonish looking cityscape, which was perfect, especially when we put it behind our costumes. It just, it made us look like cartoon characters and the whole thing feel like a fun cartoon. It was amazing. We are really, really proud of this one. And we're not only really excited to show you how it turned out, but most importantly, I'm excited to see what my son thinks. So here's the thing. We had a plan. We were actually going to hire out the local cinema with the big screen, get popcorn and all this stuff. But 
due to current uh, COVID lockdowns, we can't do anything, but that doesn't change how special and exciting this is. So we're gonna set up a little home cinema and have a home premiere of the big exciting movie that MJ wrote, directed, and featured in. Hello, you ready to come watch a movie? All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. It's movie time. We're gonna give you a, an unreactive viewing experience so you can experience it for the first time solo, and then you can join us while we watch it. Let's go. Ranger, we meet again. Good Ranger, go away. I have a meeting with my friends. Well, now you have a meeting with death. You can't catch me because I have super speed. I may not be able to, but my diamond sword can. <clears throat> I forgot my sword is blunt. I'm tired of fighting on the ground. Let's fight on the roof. Okay. Well, lucky I have climbing powers. Blast. I'll get you. Ah, my henchman! Mm, this is good. Where were you? No, we just went to go get ice cream. <sighs> we're villains. We don't get ice cream. Okay, you can have one ice cream, but then no more. Is this going to take forever? <sighs> Are, Are you, you done, done yet? yet? At last it's time for the final battle. <gasps> Your evil stuff is over there, you quit using music. Time got for the winter. from lower. Yeah. Well, now you have a meeting with death. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote this. You're very funny. This is actually a funny bit because he said he has climbing power, but he doesn't. <laughs> Yay! I think we should make it like more children for yeah. it. Because every children doesn't want to see the spike box. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. Oh, well, I mean, I didn't write it. <laughs> yes, it did. No, I didn't. Instead of the sound effect, do like a fart sound. If it were fart sounds with each collision, then it would be funny. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, I think we'll do it. We'll swap it for fart sounds. <laughs> Maybe they could land like on the bouncy ball. <laughs> or maybe they could like land in the pool. They could bounce off a trampoline into space onto the moon and then he flies up at the end onto the moon and laughs at them. 
We made the changes you requested. <laughs> Wait for it. Check this bit out. You're going to be. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Yes! Do you want to do another one later? Yeah. Sounds good. Alright, thanks for thanks for working with me. I'm sure that I'm sure your fans will enjoy it. <laughs>